Hey guys, how's everyone doing today? Commander Ox here. So today's video, we're gonna go geocaching. You don't know what that is? What, you've never heard of geocaching before? Wow, are you in for a treat? It is pretty much is a digital scavenger hunt that's been around since, uh, God, don't quote me, at early 2000s. I forget the exact day. I will put the exact day in the description below. I don't want to embarrass myself because I completely and utterly forget right now. I just went completely like, poof. But uh, it's been around for a long time. I've been geocaching since I was uh, 16 years old, but the first uh, time that I logged a cache was, like online, was probably about 10 years ago or so. So when geocaching first was around, the only way to go about it was you had a GPS and you had a printed piece of paper or you wrote it down, whatever, of coordinates and what I did when I was 16 is I took my GPS that I had that I used for flying airplanes. So it really wasn't made for what I was doing, but it worked just fine. And I had the printed pieces of paper of the, the description of the cache, the coordinates, the hints that they had, people, and obviously other people's logs. And I went out and I found the caches. So back in the day, it was hard. Nowadays, all you need, honestly, is uh, your cell phone and the geocaching app. So there's me, PCO 1988. Uh, I have 525 logged cache, uh, log finds, and I have 66 finds of my own that I've put out in the world. But uh, yeah, so what we're gonna do today is, you know, try to be out, have social distancing with this coronavirus that we are all, all going through. But we're all stir crazy, so I'm getting out, enjoying the weather, and I'm gonna go to some local caches that I haven't done. Uh, I haven't cached in probably. Uh, a good year or so and the, or two and there's some new local caches that are around beforehand I had cached every single one of them all the premium ones and all of the uh, non premium ones so what I'm gonna do is just go grab you know five or so of them so you'll get to see what we're gonna do all right all right guys so what I'm gonna do is I'm really close to the one cache that I've driven to uh, from my house and we're gonna get out, we're going to enjoy. So I'm gonna hit the uh, map and I'm gonna click click on the cache. I'm gonna hit navigate and let's go find it. So a geocache can be pretty much anything. Uh, it's pretty much just a container that we're looking for. Um, more than likely what I'm thinking it's gonna be is going to be is a, um, is gonna be a tree cache. Uh, gotta wait for the muggle to go. You also you get you you can't get caught by the muggles, so you gotta you gotta watch it. So more than like what I'm looking here for, I'm gonna probably go look. You know, 56 feet, 53 feet. I'm looking for a uh, a tree cache more than likely here. Uh, maybe not. We'll see. Let's get around here. Right. I don't know if you guys have spawned it, but I already have. I was thinking tree, but if you walk all the way over here. You see that reflector? None of these other ones have reflectors. So that is the cache. And you know what guys though? You know what I did forget? I forgot. I forgot a pen. So I'm gonna go walk back to the car and I'm gonna log it and then I'm gonna go back and place it. Can't believe I forgot a pen. I was just holding them too. Ah, uh, it's always something, isn't it? So, yeah, this is the this is the cache. And it looks like it has a it's a reflector kind of, or like a bedazzled. Actually, it looks it's a bedazzled something. It looks like a reflector, and then the big magnet was put onto it. So then, how do you open it? Up oh, there it is. So up, oh, it's see, it's a mirror, and there's a log. And there's nothing else in it. So I'm going to sign my name real quick, and we'll put it back. All right, so there's the baggie and here's the log. So there's the last person who logged it right there. So today's the 29th. So what we're gonna do is I'm trying to do this with, the, with you guys to see it. So I'm going to put PCO1988 and then yeah, I can't fix that. So three, 29, 20. So there's my log. So what we'll do is we'll put this back in the bag and then we'll walk it back over. All right, so we got this. Hi, ugly me. Put this baggie back in there. Close this back up. 
And then we're going to go put it back where it was. So the whole idea of this is to put it back exactly where you found it. The trick is, is that you're not supposed to move it from where the original location was. Now, I want to move it from where the original location was because it was like 24 feet off, but in the nature of this game, I'm gonna put it back exactly where I found it. Uh, a lot of times, uh, corns can be off by a little bit, and we gotta be careful of the muggles here. So we're gonna wait for them to, for them to go, which they're going. Gotta be careful of the muggles. Now we're gonna take this. Let's take it back. Right where we found it. And we'll slide that down a little bit. And there we go. There's our first cache. So now what we do is after we find it, we're gonna go to log and we found it. And thanks for the cache. YouTube. Thank you for the content. Thank you for the hide. Thanks for the cash. Thank you for. Thank God. Thank you for. Let's say challenge. It really wasn't that much of a challenge, but hey. Whatever. Post. And there we go. 526. Continue. And I'll meet you guys in the next one. Now it's gonna be a little bit of a walk. Uh, I might drive a little bit close to it, but I'll meet you when we're getting close and we'll find the next one. All right guys, so we are here at the next cache. So I'm gonna click on it. You can see it's on the screen, it's half time. And we're gonna navigate. Um, actually, while we walk, we got about 400 feet. Let's see, I, sorry, I didn't give you anything last time. So for this cache, it says, we come to this location for t-ball games in the playground. In the fall and the spring, there's always a, well, it says done. I think it means a ton of activities going on. Enjoy a nice walk around the park and then find this treasure. Alrighty. And uh, I had to wait a couple minutes too because there were some muggles that are right behind me, you see, and there's muggles in front of me. There's muggles everywhere today. I'm just gonna walk in the middle of the field so I'm by myself. Uh, this is a county maintained park with a nice trail. Well, you've read the rest since I've just been talking probably um, So the hint for this one is uh, watch your step. So I figure it's probably on the ground And I'm figuring so it's a difficulty one and a half terrain two. There's a small find So there's probably gonna be some little trinkets inside of it uh, But we'll find out When we get there, so let's uh, go back to it and Hit navigate so we got 215 feet. Huh? So the container I'm thinking of is probably like a small tupperware container, maybe spray painted black or blue, or not blue, <laughs> black or brown or gray, more than likely. Oh. More than likely, oh, there was a parking lot down here. Oh, oh uh, the whole idea of this is to get out and have fun. 126, 118, 113, getting closer. 97 so this is watch your step so it's on the ground so getting close to it thinking maybe logs or a, you know just next to a log next to a rock and a tree stump so the whole idea is you can't dig anything up you can't disrupt anything you can't like you can't dig a hole and put it in the hole it doesn't work i think i actually spotted it there's no way around me nope nope that's definitely not it, it says nine feet so like my first guess would be like right here but it doesn't look like it there's lots of glass so you gotta be careful watch your step that's not it no that's not it A lot of times people put it next to guardrails. So that's kind of a detail on, oh, is this right here? No, yes. So like you see how this is a lot of times people put it in there, high bugs, high thorns. Watch your step. Yeah, it's bouncing all around right now. But like this is kind of where you would expect it to be. 
this type of an area. Let's see what the last log said. Logs. No, shoot. Activity. One of the last ones was a DNF, and that was just a few days ago. And then the other one, another great find. Anybody posted pictures of it? Don't see any. There's something coming up behind me. So the whole idea is not to get found. Hmm. I'll wait for this person to go by. Figure this out. I mean, being that it is a one and a half difficulty, this should be like screaming. Like, this should be pretty easy. But hey, you never know. It says, watch your step. Could be back here, maybe? That's right on top of it. And here's the people that I was with. Oh. It's never easy doing this sometimes. Watch your step. Watch your step. This is about five feet from it. Watch these people talk to me. What are you doing? A lot of times you tell them to do you guys and they go, huh? Let's look at map type. Let's go to hybrid and let's see what we get there. Mm, that's about where I'm at. So I don't know where the heck. Let's go back to map type. Let's go back to trails. Oop. Back to street. Zoom in. Yeah, this is pretty much where it is. There's the fork. I mean, I'm right there. There's the fork. And that's where I'm at. You see where I'm at on the screen? Get everything in my power says it's right here. It's not as easy as the first one. These are the first ones. Jump down in big time. Now I don't want to put my hand near some of this just because of the glass and stuff. I don't want to kill it and you know step on and break the cash either. This looks like it's part of the yeah, it's part of the tree that's not moving. A lot of times people will put like like logs or whatever next to it, and that's a quick easy way to do that. That would have been perfect right there. But the other thing is, it's like, you don't want it too obvious, or else it's going to get muggled. Meaning, it's going to be found and destroyed. I didn't really get either. But people really haven't been back here, so I don't think it's back there. Good old poison ivy. See it there. The left of I. DNF this and you guys see it in the screen. Well, I'll see it too later. I'll be like, really? But I really don't see it. I don't see it at all. And I'm really... Okay, so... One other issue with this, just like last time I said it was going to be on a tree and then I saw it really quickly, like, you get so pinpointed that, you know, it is awful all the times to, with the cloud cover, it could be off a little bit and all kinds of other stuff. You know what I'm going to do? There's a trailer here I didn't see. See, I was so pinpointed on going to a specific place. I didn't see this little trail. Right here. And it very well could be off a little bit. And on this trail. It says, don't you know, watch your step. There wasn't any pictures that anybody posted of this ever, right? Let's look. Nope, nobody's ever taken a photo here. 
just because it's a little off I'm gonna come in from a different angle it says don't step on me kind of makes me think it's on the trail or near the trail it's not gonna be on the trail but near it hmm. what does it say about photos not done anything yeah but see, look, how far are we at from, I mean, 31 feet. I mean, last time we were 24 feet or so, and it says 20 feet. So this, 16, yeah, I mean, it's bouncing all around. It's bouncing all around. So it could definitely be here for sure. Definitely gonna have to check for ticks because it's definitely starting to get warm out today. I don't see it here. Like a lot of times you look at like a base of a tree or something like that, but I don't see it. See, now it says 35 feet. Now if I do this, center on me. See, it wants to be right there in there. Hmm. Alright guys, I think I'm going to put in the towel. I'm going to do it, give this another minute or so, and then I'm going to go on to the DNF this one, go on to the next one. This will definitely be one that I come back to. I don't find it. It's very close to my house. It's just a little bit of a walk. Or it'll be lazy. There's another parking lot right there. Lots of trash. I wish I had a trash bag to do a little bit of uh, cash. Uh, was a uh, Seco or so cash in or Cito cash in trash out. So if I do come back here, I'll definitely bring back a uh, a trash bag to take a little bit of trash with me. But I mean, 25 feet. I could be literally right on top of it. It says don't step on me, but I don't see it here at all. Hmm. I'm gonna check one more spot. I'm gonna check one more tree that maybe this is hidden in. Cause I haven't looked and it's within reason of where it should be. Right here, inside this plethora of trees with all these vines definitely could be right here huh? I thought that was a container right there ow that's a that's a vine because this would be a good good this would be a great spot for it but I'm just trying to be careful not to get hit by if there's any you know bottles here this would be a great freaking spot for it though but it does not look like it's here so that does not look like it is ow that hurt got stuck pretty good there so it's not there so the only thing that doesn't make me think it's here is it says don't step on me no that's just a bottle I stepped on the bottle That's not it either. That's just, yeah. That's not it either. Nope. I don't see it at all, guys. I am going to put the towel in for this one. After I got a couple of uh, thorns in me. I'm digging the other place, but. Alright, on to the next one. This one is uh, this one's a DNF. So log did not find and we'll be back. Post and continue. And all right guys, so I'm gonna go at least to one more. Hopefully we find that one. This one's gonna bug me now. I didn't find it. Hopefully it was not muggled. Hopefully it was still in its spot, but there's a lot of people here and caches do get muggled on occasion. So we'll hope for the best, expect the worst. Maybe the uh, the cache owner will come out here and inspect it a little bit, see if it's still here. Typically they don't until it's like, you know, like you know, three, four, five, 
like depends I guess on the difficulty too like this one's an easy one so this one probably after a couple times it will my my evil caches I really hurt uh, my evil caches I won't go for at least a year typically with DNFs because typically when I go back there it's there there's one cache that I have out right now that is uh all right guys I'm away from the muggles as I was saying like my evil caches I don't go look for at least a year because every time I go back they're there where they're supposed to be but they're evil caches and <laughs> there's one very bad one that you know, when I placed it I think I had to try coordinates like five or six times to get like dead center smack that word said but because it's in trees it's in a forest the ping is never right like part of that cache is the ping and on top of it the container if you're watching this guys it's like this big that's how big the container is it's tiny and it's camouflaged for the area so literally it's this is being damn near impossible to see but it is there every time i go the last time i went it took me like a half an hour to find because somebody placed it where it wasn't supposed to be like normally for those guys i can walk up it's like up oh, through right here look and somebody they didn't place it in the same spot. I guess they maybe placed it to, like I said the last time, where it was closer to where the ping was. But that's not cool because what happens if it's, you know, right here and the ping is way over there. And somebody comes out and their ping's right and they're in the right spot. But because somebody moved it, it's all the way over there. So that's why you don't move people's caches. You'll put it back where you found it. All right. So uh, on to the next one. All right, guys. So the last cache I was trying to go to was completely another entity with muggles. There was like 20 or 30 of them. Little muggles, big muggles, all kinds of muggles. So I scrapped that one. I am here at a small park. So we're going to look for Gray's Point Park today. Um, let's see what the description says. It says, gorgeous little footpath down the Glebe Creek. Once you locate the cache log, it will scroll around. Do not park at the park in Brian unless you have a permit sticker. It's a place to patrol for stickers. Street, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please put cash in the exact seat in the exact place you found it. And the park named be the director of the board of locations. Well, you can read the rest of that. I'm going to. There we go. So there's pretty much that. Now that you see they came up, it's a one and a half difficulty, two terrain, micro size. So we're looking for a very small container. Probably just enough for that. No photos here. Uh, what's the hint? Is 1023533. Maybe it's a lock. So we're 94 feet away. So maybe we're looking for a, a lock and maybe that's a key to get into the lock. Let's see. <sighs> what a day. It's beautiful. It's like in the 60s, 70s. It's so nice out today. Wish it was like this all the time. 39 feet. So we're looking for a micro size. Oh. Well, it says 1020. I don't know if you guys can see 1023533. So we're, uh, we're looking somewhere right here for it. 100% evident of that. See it in there, guys? No. It's going to be right here. Is that it? No. Hmm. Ah, I found it. See, why can't they all be like this? See? Ready? There it is. There it is. This is a very standard container. So, let's, uh, well, I'm gonna stop recording of that. We saw that already, so let's get rid of that. And there it is. So what you do, I don't know if you guys can see it, but just screw off the top. It's very, very small. There's the log inside of that. It's magnetic on the top, so that little scroll can sit on there. So, for, um, unfortunately for this one, guys, I'm going to cut this right now because I got to scroll it and put it back. It's going to be hard with two hands, and there's no real bench around here, and I don't want anybody seeing me what I'm doing exactly. You just see I'm here. They don't know exactly what I'm doing, so uh, I'll be right back in three, two, one. And just so you guys can see, there is my name. All right, got the log back in the container. We're going to do this. So I don't know if you guys saw before, but at least you'll see now. As that will get put back on like that. 
There you go. There you have it. There's nobody, literally nobody around. So we'll put that back right there. And there it is. And we'll, we're going to call it today, guys. Uh, that's three caches. That is two found it and one DNF did not find. It's not bad. Oh, you know what? Almost forgot. We got to log that cache, right? Duh. So let's bring this back up. Uh, and go under log. Found it. And this is very much things for the cache. Post done. Call it a day. That's it. That's pretty much end of it. If I scroll out here, so the one that I was trying to find is the closest one to me right now. And there's like I said, there's just way too many muggles there to look for it. So uh, I have that one that gray out means it's a premium. Don't know if I've found that one or not. One of these days I'll pay for premium again. Uh, I've had premium for a while. If I keep doing these, uh, I'm definitely gonna pay for premium so I can do all the caches. You see more there. And if I scrap more, there's just a whole bunch from this whole entire area. So there's plenty of caches for content, that's for sure. So maybe we'll just, uh, maybe we'll start doing that. But all right guys, well, that's gonna effectively end today's vlog. Uh, guys, if you haven't yet, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you did like this video, go smash that like button, like squad, like squad, go give this video a like. And until next time, guys, deuces.